Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite creator who's pretty decent, Gardner. Today I have some not so decent news for you. Uh, Red Hat is like no longer really a thing anymore. Uh, at least that's according to this press release that just came out. Uh, a bunch of you guys asked me to talk about this, so I'm going to talk about it. Um, I, I want to go over a little bit of the history of Red Hat and CentOS and all that stuff. So let's talk about it. If you don't know what CentOS is, uh, basically there's this distro called Red Hat Enterprise Linux, uh, which we'll call RHEL for short. Uh, it's weird to say RHEL, but you know what? Whatever. I don't want to say Red Hat Enterprise Linux over and over again throughout this whole video. It feels a little weird to call it a distro as well, because it's not what you would traditionally call a distro. I mean, it's it's a distro, but it it's a paid for distro. Like uh, Red Hat, the company that owns RHEL, uh, sell a yearly subscription. And uh, it's rather expensive and it's meant for enterprise server usage. It's not meant for... Uh, you know, end user distribution, end user uh, Linux distros. Now, CentOS is a rebuild of RHEL. I mean, it's distributed without a yearly subscription cost, and it's basically exactly the same um, with only a few minor differences. But the interesting thing is you can use CentOS, you can build your software against CentOS and then use that software in production on RHEL, and it's basically not a non-issue. Now, the intuition of a nearsighted business folk says that having a com an entirely free, uh, virtually identical version of your product on the market would be bad for your business. Uh, and they would be right if that's how the software world worked, especially the open source world. But that's not how it works. A few years ago, Red Hat actually bought CentOS and they didn't end up discontinuing the distro. They didn't change its distribution model. They didn't do anything. They just acquired it. Red Hat realized that having this entirely free version wasn't a, a, a bane on their business model. Uh, it, it allowed companies to have their people work from home or in non-development environments uh, to build software that they then used in production on subscribed servers. And the fact that there was an entirely free alternative to RHEL on the market was not actually a bad thing. There was a symbiosis between Red Hat Enterprise Linux and CentOS. Enter the painfully conventional business sense of IBM and their 2019 acquisition of Red Hat. Uh, now you have a recipe for an issue. A year and a half after the acquisition and uh, CentOS is announced that it is being converted from a stable, viable alternative to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, uh, and it will become instead a testing branch of RHEL, which many people have raised uh, an eyebrow or two at. I mean, that's not something that uh, businesses do in good faith. Also, many people have pointed out that CentOS will become the second testing branch of Red Hat Enterprise Linux behind Fedora. That's what Fedora has always been meant to be. Uh, so why are they doing this? I mean, the reason for this is, is, is obvious. It's very clear. It's as clear as a glass of water. Fact of the matter is CentOS actually does power uh, an estimated 19% of global web infrastructure. Uh, and now that it's become an unstable branch of RHEL, I mean, CentOS is no longer suitable for such use. Uh, basically, IBM and Red Hat are trying to force these unpaying customers to subscribe to Red Hat Enterprise Linux. That is a bad faith move if I've ever seen one. But again, I mean, I feel like I need to reiterate that this is conventional business sense here and it's absolutely wrong headed. Uh, the people and companies that use and rely on CentOS are tied to Red Hat, even if they're not paying customers. And by betraying them like this, IBM and Red Hat are not only seriously damaging their own community, but they are ruining their own reputation. I suspect we'll see a mass exodus away from Red Hat Enterprise Linux because of this kind of underhanded shady crap. The, so the question is, what can be done about this? Well, uh, there's a link in the description to a change.org petition. Uh, I'm not a big fan. I don't, I'm not a strong believer in online petitions. Eh, it is what it is, but it does have 8,000 or so of the 10,000 uh, signatures that it needs. Um, also, the founder of uh, CentOS, Gregory Kurtzer, has announced a replacement for CentOS called uh, Rocky Linux. Uh, so if you are reliant on uh, CentOS, you can check out Rocky Linux. 
hopefully uh, it's pretty good. Hopefully it's a drop in replacement. And since Red Hat Enterprise Linux is built on free software, there ain't nothing that IBM can do to stop its production unless you know they acquire Rocky Linux, uh, which we'll see what happens. I do understand the need for CentOS and Rocky Linux, uh, but at a certain point, it's like, why? You know, like Debian is a great and stable and subscription-free and ethical Linux distro, and there are many other stable uh, server distros that you can choose. Uh, so I don't know why people are so adamant about Red Hat Linux. I don't know. I'd like to know what you think. Do you use Red Hat Enterprise Linux? Do you use CentOS personally or professionally? Let me know down in the comments, what are you planning on doing? Do you plan on switching to Rocky Linux? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know down in the comments, sound off. I I'd love to hear from you. I think that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys believe in what I do, if you enjoy this show, you can help support the show on Patreon. Uh, it makes a world of difference. You can also become a t uh, member on YouTube here. Um, I think that's gonna do it for now though. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the stuff I'm doing here. You can also hit that like button, ring that notification bell, all the things that YouTubers ask you to do. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one and have a blessed day.